more local news. The Ken Sung assault hearing continued today with the defence making its closing submissions at the district court. As Rachel Learn reports, the defence questioned whether footage of the incident at the height of the Occupy movement actually showed the policemen who were accused of the assault. The seven policemen were greeted by supporters as they returned to the courthouse this morning. They all have pleaded not guilty to one joint count of causing grievous bodily harm with intents, while a fifth defendant has denied an additional count of common assaults. Defense lawyers today questioned if the officers allegedly carrying out the assault on activist Kim Jung were the actual defendants, since it was dark and their faces could not be seen clearly on the TV footage. Lawrence Locke, defense counsel for Chief Inspector Wong Cho Shing, suggested that the person being carried away and allegedly beaten at the substation at Admiralty was not Jung. Judge David Dufton then demanded the video footage be played to the court. He requested that the defense pay close attention to the person's black shirt and white shoes. Locke also told the court it would be dangerous to come to conclusions because the footage appeared blurry, adding that the view was blocked for 49 seconds, which raised the question of whether all the people in the two shots were the same. He also argued that by taking a look at the person's clothes, it could have been any of the arrestees that night. Locke also questioned the forensic evidence that Ken Jung's wounds were consistent with an assault with a police baton by noting that the defendants were not carrying batons at the time. Edward Choi, defense counsel for the fourth defendant, Constable Lao Hing Pui, suggested Zheng had portrayed himself as the victim in the incident. He questioned Zheng's credibility as a person and challenged the prosecution's description of the constable's clothing of light-colored trousers was too vague. In his closing arguments, Ching Hung, defense lawyer for senior inspector Lao Chuk Ngai, requested the judge take into account his client's unblemished character, adding he was there that evening to protect law and order. The defense will continue its final submissions tomorrow, while the judge said today that he expects to hand down his verdict on January 6. Rachel Leung, TVB News.